Hi, hi, it's JJ Cat. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've done an update on Pinterest, what's new in Pinterest. So um, life, vacation, I took a little break and so I'm back now. So I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 new things on Pinterest after this break. Hey, welcome back. So the six things that I'm sharing today have to do with six platform related sort of features that I've just noticed it just personally. And if I noticed it and you didn't notice it, it's new to you. And then four things that are related to the policy of Pinterest and practices that might be new and that are working separate from the past. And if you don't have already know, check out my other videos in this series when I shared new things on Pinterest. Um, this is the first creation of that video series for 2022. So let's get started, shall we? As usual, I have my notes. So the first thing that you're gonna notice um, that I wanna show you about is split video. So if you know that Pinterest is pushing idea pins majorly, and with idea pins, you share one to 20 slides. However, and they always encourage you to include a video. So if you're including a video, sometimes the video is longer than one minute because the video can only be up to one minute. Now, Pinterest allows you to split that video up. Um, when you upload the video, it gives you the option to actually split it in app. So instead of having to download, um, you know, do it on a third party app and upload them in one minute increments you can actually do it straight from in that so that's the first thing that's new the second thing is that in your pinterest idea pins um i would want to call them reels pinterest idea pins you can now actually see the count the share counts the amount of time people share your idea pin outside of the pinterest platform and it's going to show up here and i did the third thing that's new is that you can actually reply to someone's comment um, in your idea pin with another idea pin. And this is something that you've seen TikTok do. You've seen Reels do something similar. And essentially, it's also Pinterest's um, effort to make uh, its platform and the creators and the creatives on its platform have a more sort of social media aspect of it. Because previously, Pinterest wasn't thought of as a social media platform. So that's the third thing. The fourth thing now, you'll see on profiles, you can now actually indicate your pronoun. So she, he, they, them. Um, that's also a process of just the, the, the world we are now where different genders and people different identifying but different genders and you can actually whether you're an independent or a company indicate that if you so please so that's the fourth thing thing is that you now see profiles we talked about this in the video that i did before now part of making more discoverable and making creatives have an opportunity to get in front of new audiences is allowing them to put in the title of their profile what they're actually selling what their what their account is about so for example i have belly itch and i have parenting so if someone search parenting website or parenting blog and pinterest the fact that i have parenting in my title will allow me to come up in the profile section so that is a fifth thing sixth thing is when you look in your analytics they have a separate category just for video like that sort of just a further confirmation that pinterest is really pushing video content the fact that they have their own category in analytics so they're essentially saying look at your video content you haven't ever figured it out yet so that's number six so last four things we're going to talk about is more policy more practice related things the sixth thing is that when I open up my Pinterest feed on my mobile device, I'm seeing a lot of repurposed reels. Now, why does that make a difference? Because before we knew that, you know, Gen Z is actually driving um, Pinterest's trends. And so Gen Z usually gravitate towards TikTok. So we've seen that TikTok has been repurposed a lot in, in, in Pinterest as a way of growing pretty fastly. Now you're seeing Instagram creators being encouraged to bring their reels content over to Pinterest. Now, why does it matter? Because Pinterest best practice says you use multiple slides to show an idea. However, the Reels audience are used to doing in one video. And so what you're gonna see is a lot of one slide video content being paramount, being shown and getting lots and lots of views and lots and lots of traction. So that tells you even the best practices that you can actually grow without necessarily doing multiple slides. If you just have one formative video that shares some sort of ideas. So that is definitely the way to go and not like the Reels, not necessarily the TikToks or both. So that's number six. Number seven, Pinterest purchased this app called Vochi. And what that tells us, Pinterest creators, is that um, they're going to make um, the idea pin uh, functionalities more practical, more useful. Right now, they're a little bit clunky, it's a little bit awkward, and they're limited. So that's what that one tells us. That was number eight. Number Nine is that you can grow in Pinterest, but now you have to include an ad strategy in your part of your growth in terms of getting for more audiences. You can no longer rely simply on organic traffic and you can actually use an ad strategy to kickstart your organic growth and organic reach. So that's number nine. And the tenth and final one is that Pinterest saw a tremendous drop in people um, accessing the platform because the country, the world has opened up. So people aren't necessarily shopping on app and just sitting home watching Pinterest all day 
Why is that new? That's new because that's an indicator to you, Pinterest marketers or people who use Pinterest for business, to watch carefully to see if the platform at all shifts from its current business model of using Pinterest to be a shopping app and having all these live shopping functionalities and encouraging creators to essentially encourage people to just sh stay on app and not sending people off the platform because they're relying on the huge shopping audience that came because of the pandemic because of COVID. so um yeah that's just something just to watch out for it's it's new to the extent that it's a new development in the app and the app's business model is driven by its audience it may mean nothing it may still double down but that's something to watch out for so i hope that was helpful for you those are 10 things that's new on pinterest here video here and here if you want to continue learning from me i want to highly suggest that you subscribe to this video this channel because that's where you get updated news on what's new in pinterest and practices and everything and uh yeah uh, to learn more you can hit the join button where I put actual tutorials or even go better if you would like me to hold your hand and walk you through and maybe do some Pinterest management or some strategy for you including your ad strategy so you can you know actually benefit from Pinterest hit me up in my uh, the description box where you can actually sign up and apply to become a client now everyone can't be a client I don't take on everyone but let's see if it makes sense for us to work together check me out in the description box and I'll see you then until next time cue my outro music again don't forget to watch this video or this video which if you want to continue to grow learn some more um, I'm going to also um, redo my Pinterest 101 growth strategies yeah all right take care Bye -bye. Da -da, da -da, da -da.